Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and a look at a fascinating puzzle today. Um, you can see perhaps from the grid that this is going to be called Angels, or at least we can see one angel I think in the grid, but it is called Angels. It's by Good City. We did a couple of puzzles by Good City last month for the first time and um, this has come recommended by no less than Demono who says that it's the first puzzle in a long, long time that when he finished it, he said, good puzzle out loud to nobody in the room, <laughs> which is great. You can see how that is a genuine mark of content. Anyway, we will be having a go at that in a moment. There are doublers in it, so this might not be a short solve. Um, we will find out in due course, but first of all, I'm going to quickly tell you all about our apps, including Line Sudoku and Domino Sudoku, uh, which are available on the links under the video. Do go to those. You can play them on um, Google Play through the App Store or in Steam, and uh, they're all brilliant sessions of fun for you waiting. Um, and of course, Patreon, where we will be running a new competition every first of every month until the 20th of every month. There is a competition Sudoku pack normally, and um, that applies this month as any other. There are also Sven Sudoku pad and our merchandise. But the first link is to this puzzle by Good City called Angels. Let's do the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box in the puzzle. Now, along a green line, the adjacent values of the two cells, that's an important word, values, we'll come back to that, must have a difference of five or more. So the values of these two cells must have a difference of at least five, and the same applies to these two and these two, etc., etc. Um, values joined by a white dot must be consecutive, so the values there could be 7 and 8, or 9 and 10. Values joined by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio, so one is half the other. Not all possible dots are given. And here we go with the doublers. Within, the, within this puzzle, there are nine doubler cells, which count as double their value for clues. One doubler is in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box, and they form a complete set of the digits 1 to 9. So, oh, hang on. Okay, I was about to show an example layout of doublers, but I've just read the last line. Doublers cannot be placed on crop key dots. So, I reckon... Oh, no, that won't work. Let's try this as a possible conformation of doublers, nearly. There we go. That could be where the nine doublers are, and they would be a set of the digits one to nine. Now, you can look at the end of the puzzle and see if I guessed right. I'm not going to. Okay, so those are the rules. Give it a try. I am going to start now, and we'll see how long my solve is. Let's get cracking. So, we've done, we've done a puzzle a bit like this before. Well, in one respect, anyway. It had doublers, and it had a nine-cell row, and it was in the top of the grid. And it confused the heck out of me because I assumed at first that five had to be doubled in the row. Five, okay, the normal rules, if you didn't have doublers in the puzzle, the normal rules about German whispers are one, five can never go on them. Two, the digits therefore have to alternate between high and low higher than five and lower than five to maintain the difference. And three, four and six can't go in places where their neighbors can see each other. Now, all of those rules are out the window because of the doublers. However, I am at least gonna try and start with the clarity and the knowledge bomb that we are going to place a five in this row. That is one of the Sudoku rules. Um, I think Okay, first of all, let's take that rule that doublers can't be placed on crop key dots and colour the crop key dot cells. There. Those are all not doublers. 
So there, well, I mean, first, I mean, there are there are some very interesting rows and columns where the doubler has to be on a German whisper line. That's quite interesting. It's definitely going to be significant. Let's start with this bottom row, though, where now five can't be here, but it can be here, but it. It could only be there if that was the doubler, I reckon. Okay, the, the issue for five, and the f <coughs> five has to be, in, if five is in this row, and if it's not here, if it's somewhere in these cells, it's surrounded on two sides by other cells. And they can't both be doublers, you're only allowed one doubler in a row. So the five, the neighbour on the other side of the five, if it was in any of these cells, would be an illegal, ordinary counting Sudoku digit. And therefore five is not in any of those cells, and it's not there because of the black dot, and it is here. And there's a number in this puzzle. And that one is obviously four or six. Now, what can five actually be next to? And the answer... Am I right? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just want to think again. Yeah, I am. Five, if it was in any of those cells, on one side or the other, is a genuine Sudoku. Oh, no, I'm not right. I'm not right, because I'd forgotten the possibility, which I actually thought I was going to eliminate down to, that five is the doubler. If five is the doubler in this row, then its value is ten, and it can sit next to two low, well, two, two digits from one to four, two low digits. Okay, so I cannot write five into this cell. And that's a shame. In fact, five is definitely not in this cell. I do apologize. Right, five is not in this cell because one of these would be genuine. And one could be a doubler, but one of them must be genuine. They're in the same box and column. And five can't sit next to a genuine digit on a green line. Also, this cannot be a doubled five because it's on a crop key dot. It's not allowed. So I think we're left, and this is where you have to be so careful here not to forget any possibilities. I think we're left with the only possibility being a doubled five in this row. But I'm actually going to think about the top row before I go mad on that. Because why isn't that the same? Now that all these cells are the doubler cells, if we are to have a doubled five in this bottom row, then we can't have a doubled five in the top row. And yet five must appear somewhere in the top row. And why is ah, the reason it is not subject to the same constraint about touching two cells on a green line is because it could be here. Okay, so I, th I think this conclusion is sound and you will obviously write in the comments if it's not. But I think it is now safe to assume that five in this bottom row is doubled because it must appear somewhere here. It must have a genuine neighbor next to it on one side or the other and therefore it itself must not be a genuine five, it must be a 10. That, that is fair. There is, okay, I'm just going <laughs> to pencil mark that there is a doubled five there. That's what that pencil mark means to me on this occasion. Now, there is not a doubled five here. And I think that whether you're in this cell with one of these having to be a genuine neighbor to a genuine five, and that's impossible on a green line, or whether you're in this cell and one of these has to be a genuine neighbor, to what we're positing. It would have to be a genuine five once five gets in this top row because we've already used up the doubled five in the puzzle down here. So the, the five in this row is genuine. It's not there on a black dot because there's no digit that can be half or double it. Well, let's not forget that you could double five to get 10, but that would put two fives in the same column. Um, I think five's got to be here because I just don't think it can appear there or there or in any of these positions and I'm putting it in. That's a five. This is four or six. So I tried to do that down in this corner. 
I've done it in this corner instead. Now, we know something down here, don't we? No, not really. What I thought we might know was that five has become a high digit by being doubled. And now we have five high digits in the row, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, yeah, this is still fine. And four low digits. And we've got to alternate them. That's still fine with doubled five being ten. If that number had been a doubled six being twelve, that can sit next to a seven and confuse matters. But a doubled five can't sit next to six, seven, eight, or nine. So we can alternate. These alternate cells are low because there are only four low digits. And these are high. And that includes the possibility of doubled five. So those can't be five anymore. Five is now in one of these cells. And here's, a, here's an intricate knowledge bomb for you. There's a four in this row somewhere. And four is in one of the blue cells because they are one, two, three, and four. And what is four going to sit next to in the row? It's going to sit next to nine genuine on one side and doubled five on the other, because normally nine's the only digit it can sit next to. Here it has the extra dispensation of the doubler, but that's a doubled five in this row, definitely. So five, four is gonna be sandwiched in between doubled five and single nine. It's not gonna be here, because we can't put nine on the black dot. So four's in one of these cells, And let's think about the lower end of the high digits. So somewhere in this row, there is a six. And it's going to sit next to two... Well, if it's, in, if it's in these orange cells, it's going to sit next to two genuine low digits, which is impossible. So it's not in those. Because the genuine low digits we have available are one, two, three, and four. Six can sit next to one, but it can't sit next to two, three, or four. So the six, which is genuine, is in one of these cells, in one of the corners, and the next digit to it is a one, with the only digit it can sit next to. And let's think about seven next in the row. Seven, again, is gonna be in one end or the other, or one of these orange cells. If it's in an orange cell, Seven can't be here on the black dot, actually. So I reckon seven could be in one of those. If it's here, that's a one or a two. And it, if, it's, if seven is there, six is there, that's a one, that's a two. If seven is in one of these cells, it's surrounded by one and two. Yeah, it's interesting. Six here would make that a four and this a three. Then you'd have one, two, seven, eight, nine in these cells with a doubler amongst them. That could be one or two doubled. Now, okay, here's another thought. Whichever one of these is six, it's got a one next to it, all very well and good, but what is the digit that it also touches on the green line in row eight? That is not allowed to be one anymore. It's gonna have to be a big old doubler, a doubler of seven, eight, or nine. So one of these two is a doubler. All of these are green now. They're non-doublers. Uh, they're not probably that helpful, but one of these is a doubled huge digit. Seven, eight, or nine gets doubled. Okay, and what was I suggesting in the other case that seven might be sitting here? Then six is here with one there and a doubler here. The seven would be sitting next to two genuine digits, which would have to be two here and one here. Seven, two, one, six. 
And then the values we have in the middle are 3 and 4, 10, 9 and 8. I think that does work, so that's fine. Oh my goodness, this is complicated, this puzzle. 6 is on one end or the other. So if it's here, that's 5 or 7. If it's here, that's 3. I want to think more about 7 in the corner. So what we're saying is the only, pl the only this isn't 7 in the corner. If, if 7 is in the corner in the bottom row, it's here. And then we've got 7 there, 1, 2 here. That black dot is either 4, 8, or 3, 6. But this cell is 6 or 8 because of the white dot. This would have to be a 9, I think, because 6 and 8 would be used up in the box. Seven. Two, nine. The four is sandwiched between the nine and the ten, so nine, four, ten. Three, eight, one, six. Wow, I mean, it's very prescriptive, but it does work. Doesn't leave a lot of possibilities on this white dot, mind you. Okay, I think I'm going down too deep a rabbit hole here. I'm first of all just going to mark up that these are one, two, three, four. And we decided that one had to be in one of those next to a six. So it's not in one of these. These are from two, three, and four. Now wherever four is, it is surrounded by ten and nine in this row. Now can it be here? It can't be here, because that can't be 10 or 9. Can it be here? This R, if they were 10 and 9, and I'm talking about 10 as though it's a real thing, but you know it's a doubled 5, then the 10 is there, the 9 is there, and that's 8. You've got 10, 4, 9 all shut away there. These are six, seven, and eight, all genuine. Six, one, seven, two, eight, three. It does work, 10, four, nine. Ah, oh, goodness. How do we ever get certainty then? Am I meant to work on the row at the top? I, it just doesn't look as appealing, but I'll have a look at it now because you're probably asking me to do something else and not get stuck at the bottom. Okay, five is already gone. We've got a doubler to put in somewhere on the line. Um, if it was a doubled three or four, it's turning a low digit into a high digit. If it's a doubled high digit, it's just getting higher. But the really difficult thing to remember is that can then have a high digit next to it. If you double a nine, it can sit next to anything. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm finding that very difficult. I don't quite know how to get on here, sorry. Okay, let's think about six. Here, because that made this a one. And the four is going to get surrounded by nine and ten somewhere. And the seven in the row, which can't be here, has to be surrounded by one and two. So actually, the seven has to be here. If this is six, this is one, and this is seven. That's where seven has to be in the row, with two there. And that becomes 3, and that becomes 4, surrounded by 10 and 9. You get 8 here. 
So if this isn't a six because this is a six, then it's eight. So that is six or eight, and this is three or four by Kropke rules. That's interesting. That's interesting. We haven't had that before. Now, if this is eight, four, that's five, six. If this is six, three, that's five, four. Six, three, five, four. So that would leave one, two, seven, eight, nine. Eight, four, six, five would leave one, two, three, seven, nine. But that's difficult because the three could double to form a six. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's the way to solve it. I don't think this is yet either. So we got six or eight here. Okay, let's think more about this cell. This, I think I decided. Did I decide that this is either six or seven? No, maybe I didn't. This, this is the only corner seven could be in. Otherwise, well, otherwise these are going to be, I don't know. Right, if that's an eight, this is where six is. Then that has to be a one. And then seven in the row, clearly not on a corner in this case, has to be between one and two. So if that's an eight, we are going six, one, seven, two. That will have to be three sitting next to an eight. That's four, and this is a 10-9 pair. And that is all absolutely certain if that's an eight. We, we can write in the whole row apart from 10 and nine. It goes six, one, seven, two, four, three, eight. Three, eight is okay, and that becomes a four. So if this is an eight, that's a three. And if this is a six, that's a three. So there's always a three in one of those cells. Now I'm beginning to get a little interested in this white dot. If this is a six, well, do we have to go six, one, seven here? The first answer I have for you is no, because we could put seven there. So the two alternatives for seven, if this is a six, are here or here. And weirdly, the only place for seven, if that is a six, is here. So this is never a seven. <laughs> That's so strange. Um, right, and I'm, th okay, let's first of all think about seven here. With two there. And one here. I think I may have thought about this before, but I need to do it again. If that's seven two, this is six one. Oh, what? Yeah, this would be the doubler. If this is six, that's one. This is the doubler. And this is three. And one, three, and six have gone. And these are genuine next to each other cells. They can't be four, five, because six, three there makes that a four and that a five. They can't have a two because one and three are gone. So they would have to be from seven, eight, and nine. If that is a six, these are from seven, eight, and nine. And that doesn't matter what's going on here. So if that's a six, the white dot has an eight on it. And this is high, and we've gone six, three, five, four, high. Yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't help. But it's interesting that there's an eight on the white dot. Now, the alternative is that six is over here with one there. This is then an eight. The doublers here, so this is a genuine digit. These are two low digits from one, two, three, and that's a four. 
So yet again, the white cell can't use any digits from 1, 2, 3, 4, because three of them have been used up here. And if that's an 8, that's a 4, that's a 6. This would now have to be 7 or 9. So in all circumstances, this is 7, 8 or 9. This is touching it now. I'm not quite going to rule out 6 yet, but I wonder if I can. If that was a 6, this is 7, that's 8. These are both low. That's 9 or 10. And then over here we've got 6, 1, 7, 2. Wow, this is quite complicated. If this is 6, but it's huge if it's not 6. If it's not 6, we've definitely got 8 on this white dot and not here. So this is a really useful thing to prove, if I can. So if this is 6, that's 7. And that's 8. 8, 4, 7, 5, 6. We've got a 7 there, and we've got to put 1, 2, 3, 9 here, including a doubler somewhere. Ooh, 1, 2, 3, 9 are all quite low. Now, that's interesting, but I don't know that it's impossible. The, the 3 would have to double to become a high digit, I think. Yeah, it would. I think it does work, and there's only one possibility. So, maybe I want to prove that that is right. I thought I might be about to prove that 6 couldn't be here, because that would be 7, 8, 3, 4. 6, 7, 8, 3, 4. We'd have 1, 2, 5, and 9 left. This is not a doubler. It would be one or two, because the doubler would be over here with the six. It does seem to work, so I can't falsify that. So maybe I have to go the other way and say, if this is six, these are from seven, eight, nine, and that's one. And this is the doubler. Oh, this would also be from 7, 8, 9, because 6 next to the doubler is going to be a high digit. So this would be 6, 7, 8, 9 as a quadruple. And this would have to be... Oh, there is nothing left for it to be, because the doubler's been used in the box. Oh my goodness, okay, it does not work for 6 to be in this cell. That's really, really helpful, actually. Okay, I'm going to prove that to you one more time. If 6 was in this cell, it has to be next to 1 in the bottom row. It has to be next to the doubler here. But the doubler it has to be next to has to be at least 7 to get the difference between 6 and the doubled cell. So they would all come from 7, 8, 9. You'd have a 6, 7, 8, 9 quad in the box, including the doubler. And this now could neither be a doubler nor a high digit, and that breaks the puzzle. So this is not 6 in the corner. This is 8 in this corner. This is 6. Here we go with some digits. 6 has to be next to 1. This is not a 1 now. In fact, I think it's a 3, but we'll prove that properly. This is a 4 on the black dot. Now, there is no 8 on this thing, so it's a 6-7 pair based on the work we did earlier. This has become a 6. Here come all the digits in the world. We've got that, two, three, four, triple. This is not an eight. We've got seven, five, and nine to put in here. We can't put seven here by Sudoku, if nothing else. We worked out earlier it couldn't be there because one of these will have two higher values, so it's here. That is a seven. This must be two. These are five and nine, and one of them's a doubler. This is four. That is three. This digit is a doubler. I finally get to put an actual red doubler in. I can take out the colours of these cells and revert them back to green. Oh, except one of these is 
is the is the red doubler. I don't know which one still. I probably do. I haven't worked it out. I'm sure you know which one. One of those two is the doubler in box nine. So those all go green. These all go green because we've got the doubler there. That's green. This is a doubled eight or nine to maintain the difference. This is five. The black cell here is not six, three, and it doesn't have a one on it. So it does have a four. It's either two, four or four, eight. Three is in one of those cells. This black dot, I'm just going to note that it's from one, two, four, eight, because it can't have a six. Finally, subtraction. One of these is a five. Now, that's really interesting. Right, this can't be a five here because we've got a doubled five in the bottom row. We can't have another one, so it can't be doubled five. If it was ordinary five, it couldn't sit next to whatever this digit is. So forget that being a five. This is the five in box nine. It is the doubler. This one isn't the doubler and is a nine. And we've done the bottom row in toto. This is not a doubler. Is that the only cell I get to mark? Now I finally got the definite doubler. These are one, two, and nine. This can't be nine. And this can't be one or two, because we've got to alternate a bit, at least. It's nice when you get green cells on the whisper. Got a one, two pair there. That can be either of them. Now, these are one, two, three, and nine, which looks like three low digits and a high digit. One of them is going to be doubled, and it has to be doubled enough to become high enough to sit next to a low digit. And I think the only one that can be doubled high enough is three. So it's got to be on one end or the other. You can't put double three there because that would be a six value next to a seven. It's double three there. It's sitting next to a one to make it legal. That must be sitting next to nine. That must be sitting next to two. We've got a whole bunch more of green cells out of that. Now, one of these two is the only place left for a doubler in box one. So these are all genuine. One of these is a doubler. One of these is a doubler. One of these is a doubler. But none of those, oh yeah, one of them has to be on a green line. Okay, uh, where do we go next? We'll go to this cell, which is sitting next to a value of six. The only genuine non-doubler digit it could be is one, and it can't be that. So that is a doubler two, and we get more green cells. What is it a doubler? It's a doubler of a high digit, because we've got to get up to at least 11 as a value. So that is seven or eight. It can't be nine because of this. So we've got a high digit being doubled there and a high digit being doubled here. Goodness knows what this is. It could be a big old double nine, actually, or eight, or seven, or it could be a single one or three. Don't think it can be anything else. But that's not very helpful. Um, wow. I feel exhausted already. We're half an hour in. I. Uh, Okay, I'm relieved we're half an hour in because it felt like some time had passed, I have to say. Well, that's interesting. These digits, just by Sudoku, they can't be 9, 6, 7, 2, or 4. So they're being selected from 1, 3, 5, and 8. But we've already had a 5 doubled and a 3 doubled in the puzzle. So there's either an eight being doubled there, in which case this is a two, four pair. And if that's a doubled eight, that's definitely a doubled seven and that's definitely a doubled nine. That's very prescriptive. Oh, one has to be in those cells and so does five. Four has to be in those cells. Once nine six seven one five four. This is two three or eight. It is sitting next to a value oh, of sixteen or eighteen. It could be anything it likes. Okay, let's look up here now. I've been avoiding this for a while. Now either there is a one on this dot, 
in which case these are 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Now that's difficult. No, it's not that difficult if a big number gets doubled. I don't think it can work if one of the smaller ones does. But that would be the third big number doubler out of 7, 8, 9. And that would actually sort out that we couldn't have a doubled 8 here. Okay, so if, that, if they include a 1, these are from 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. If they don't include a 1, that's a 2, 4, 8 triple. And then these are from 1, 3, 7, and 9. Now the 1 can be doubled there. But so could one of the big digits bother. I've just noticed, for no particular reason, that there's a 3 not in those cells, and because of the 3 pencil marked here, not in those. So one of those 2 is a 3. Um, and there is a 3 down here, and that's not very interesting. There's a 5 in one of those. Yes, maybe just doing some Sudoku. Might be not just helpful to the puzzle, but slightly therapeutic to the brain at this point. Five, six, seven, one, two, four. That is three, eight, or nine, just by the exigencies of Sudoku. I'm not really getting much further with anything. This can be anything, as long as it's well, and this could be doubled. So, oh, okay, can it? Again, either it's doubled one. If, it, if it's doubled, it's doubled one or one of the high digits. It's not doubled three, but it could still be single three. Ah, I don't know. That, that's a useless cell. These are all genuine. That's genuine. Okay, where's seven in this column? It's an interesting question, actually. Um, and I'm going to say... Well, it's not here, because that, these are all genuine cells, and the only thing seven can sit next to are one and two. They can't be one and two because of that. So seven is not here. So seven is in one of these cells. Now, I thought I could rule it out of this one, where it would be a genuine seven. And what could it sit next to? I'll tell you what's quite interesting is if 7 is genuine here, we know that 3 is genuine, and they're going to have to be kept apart. They're not allowed to sit next to each other. So if 7 is genuine, 7 and 3 have to be kept apart by what digit can possibly go between 7 and 3, what value can go between them, only an incredibly high one like a doubled very high digit here, 8 or 9. In this case. So, if 7 is genuine here, that is a doubled 8 or 9. If 7 is not genuine, it's doubled in one of those two cells. So here, we have a doubled 7, 8 or 9, and that completes the triple of doubled 7, 8s and 9s. The double digit here now is not the 8, it is a doubled 1, because it can't be 3 or 5 either. So this is the triumvirate of 7, 8, 9 as doublers amongst these cells, and I have to desperately remember that. I might give them a different colour, orange for high. Let's do that just so I can remember that those... I know, I know orange is a little harder to see than red, but I need to remember this. It's vital. That is the 7, 8, 9 group. And we've done 3 and 5. There's going to be a doubled 1 here. So the remaining cells are doubled 2, 4, and 6 in these boxes. Right, let's go back to thinking about either the 2, 4, 8 triple or the 1, 2 pair. Let's start with the 1, 2 pair. 6, 5, 1, 2. 
Now we've got 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Ooh, it's difficult because the doubled digit, uh, the double digit can sit next to anything. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's not as difficult as I'd hoped. Okay, so say that is from 248. Actually, we, one of them would be a 4, so that couldn't be a 4, so that would be 2 or 8 as well. Anyway, this would be a 248 triple. That is the point. And these would be 1379, again with the double digit being a high one. And they, they, as long as 3 and 1 are kept apart, that's fine. Yeah, in fact, there's a lot of freedom around that, annoyingly, for me, in solving the puzzle. Okay, I need to think of something else. That's really annoying, because we were onto something there. These three high triumvirate digits. That's cool. They are 7, 8, 9. One is doubled here. Okay, that's slightly interesting. So we've got 2, 4, and 6 to be doubled elsewhere. This is not a doubler now, because it can't be 2, 4, or 6. Why can't it be 6? Because whether it was 6 or doubled, it would be wrong next to that. So that is a green cell. And therefore it's not 9, 8, or 7. That is now low, 1 or 3. This is genuine, so it's got to be high. 6, 7, or 8. And that can, I think, any of the... Even 8 can be next to doubled 7, so there's no problem with that being next to that cell. Um, so that didn't really get us very far, but still it's interesting. We've got a doubled 1 here. Doubled... Oh, okay, so... Doubled 2, 4, or 6 in one of these cells. If it's two or four, it fixes whatever this is. A two there makes this a four eight pair. A four there makes this a one two pair. And a six would have to be doubled in that cell. One of those is right, and it's quite restrictive, but I don't know which one is right. Oh, there is a 7 in one of these cells. That's just Sudoku. Hadn't marked it before. Hadn't really seen it before. Okay, I've got to go back to this wretched thing, I think. If that's 1, 2, then the, this is a group of 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 with a doubled high digit amongst them. That's what we know. And this is a genuine pair with a genuine low digit in it. Which can't be 3, 7. Oh, that couldn't be a 7 then. That's quite interesting because this wouldn't be allowed to be a four on the whisper or a three either on the whisper or by Sudoku. So seven would now be in one of these two cells. Doesn't mean it's the doubler quite, annoyingly. Um, and these would be one from three, four, and one from eight, nine. I can't, I can't see how that's restricted. I really want to use this fact about two, four, and six. How about this green line? Oh yeah, if that's a... Th that's not a three, I know that, okay. If it's a four, that's impossible as well. Oh, so this can't be a low digit. Oh, it could still be a one or a two if that's not a one-two pair. So in the case of this being a one-two pair, this is high. I mean... 
I'm considering those cells. Oh, that's interesting. Right, so if this is a one-two pair, this is high, this is low, it's a three or a four. Does it do anything? Oh, this, he's a three. This is from one, two, four, eight as well. That can't be a two by Sudoku. So this can't be a one by Kropke. Hmm. So again, if that is from two, four, eight, there's another triple along with the one in column one. That's interesting, a bit weird. If this is 2, 1, that's a 4, 8 pair. So if this is a 1, and we've got these cells to think about. Now, this is either genuine, or a doubled 2 or a doubled 4, which would be worth 4 or 8. So its values aren't really... aren't really very difficult to find a value for. And this would be a doubled 2, 4 or 6 as well. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I need to just think about the top row again. Maybe I really do, and I just haven't thought about this in quite a while. Now, how are these going to alternate? Especially now, we can't double anything more than a six. Yeah, that's an interesting point. So the highest value we can have here is a 12. And if we didn't have that, we would have a doubled two to four, or a doubled four to eight on this, in this row somewhere. What does that do? Well, you can't have a double two becoming four because you've got a genuine four somewhere in the row and then every other cell would be genuine in it. And one of the fours would have to see two nines. Even here, you couldn't put a genuine four. Could you? Oh, maybe just there, seeing a genuine nine here and a doubler here. But the doubler is only two or four. That doesn't work at all. Okay, okay. So, the doubler in this row is not, if I, is not two being doubled. So it's either four or six being doubled. Now, if four is being doubled to be eight, then the values we have to put in the row are, oh, weirdly, 9, 8, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. And there's only two low, three low ones there. 3, 2, and 1. So they would have to be spaced in the middle. So if the 4 is being doubled in this row, that's 3, 2, 1. The four is a doubler somewhere in between them. And that has to be an eight. Genuine eight. Wow, okay, so I couldn't quite rule that out though. There's a doubled four somewhere in one of these two cells that would end up being a doubled two because it couldn't be a doubled four anymore and it can't be a six. So that would be a doubled two valued at four, which cannot touch this cell at all in any way. That cannot be a doubled two. It can't be a doubled six. And if it's a doubled four, Oh, look what happens, look what happens. This is, this is where to concentrate, this cell. If this is a doubler, we've only got two, four, and six left because of our triumvirate of high digits and one, 
three, five having gone. So we've only got two, four, or six left. It can't be a six by Sudoku. If this is a doubled four, there is no digit it can sit next to here and have a difference of five. If this is a doubled two, look what happens. This becomes a four, eight pair, and that has no fill. Oh, that's amazing. So this can't be a doubler. Oh, and it's so straightforward when you see it, but when you don't, it's monstrous. Right, this is a doubled two, four, or six. Now, I think I have done some work in my head to work out which one of those it's not. I don't think it's a doubled two, because that would be a four and would need nine on... Yeah, these are genuine. It would need nine on both sides of it, and it can't have that. So it's not a doubled two. If it was a doubled four, that would be eight. And that would make all of these have to be low digits because the rest of the line would have to alternate normally. They would be one, two, three, four. Actually, this might be possible. No, and that would leave no fill for that cell. One, two, three, four, and yes, it would. Genuine eight. So that, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe this can be doubled four. That would be quite annoying because then I don't progress quite as much. Ah, but if this is doubled four, that's a one, two pair. And yet we're saying one, two, three, four would have to alternate along here. That would have no fill. Okay, that's good. That is a doubled six. There is a six in one of those two cells by Sudoku, which is quite interesting for that one. But anyway, um, that is a doubled six. Now, that is worth 12. Knowledge bomb there. That is sitting next to, well, it could be three or seven. Okay, that is sitting next to anything that is not nine or eight. So nine in the row is now in one of those two cells. Look at these two nines looking north. Nine has to be <coughs> in one of those two cells. And that sorts the high-low alternation on the fair part of this line. It must be high, low, high, low, high. So they are seven, eight, and nine. And this one is not allowed to be no, uh, what was it? That's 12. This can't be 7. Actually, it, it can't be 8. 12 next to 8 is not possible. So that is a 9. Okay, that was a bit simpler than I realised. Uh, is that allowed to be 9? Because I, I thought I'd just said... No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I've lost my mind. Oh, s double 6 can be next to 7. Sorry, I'm just doing the maths wrong. 12 can be next to 7. That's fine. And these are an 8-9 pair. Now we have to place 1, 2, 3. Well, this isn't 8 anymore. Every th that is 1 or 2 by German Whisper rules. This can be 1, 2, or 4. It sees that 3. The 3 in the row seems to have to be here next to a value of 12. Not here. This, touching the three, has to be a natural eight or nine. Um, now, what's going on here? Oh, come on. There's, there's... We've still got a doubled two and a doubled four to find in these boxes. Haven't we? Yeah, we have. Eight has gone from there. This can still be a four, though. Right, that eight or nine can't sit next to eight here by, by whisper rules. So that is now one or four. So this is two or eight. If that is eight, that's nine by Sudoku. And that has to be four by Kropke. Oh, it's getting so complicated. Oh, that's an eight, nine pair. Eight can never sit next to four, so that's not a four. That's now a one, two pair. This is a four in the corner. Now, that wasn't what I was sort of hoping to find, but this is now two or eight. That's a pair in the box. This is a nine. Okay, that's again surprising. This is not a nine down here. That is not a four. And we've got a two eight pair. And now these are 
one, three, seven, nine. This digit can't be seven, can't be three, can't be nine. That's a one. Can't be seven because they can't be two, one. Right, now we've got three, seven, and nine to put in here, and one of the high ones is doubled. This can't be three by whisper rules. So that is a natural high digit. Trouble is, I just don't know how that then unfolds. I'm just going to put in a 7-5 pair here because I've spotted it. Oh, that is 2 or 8. This has to be 4 now. That's a 2-3-8 triple. This is 9. Um, okay, that didn't do anything here. So, oh, that's 9. No, now the double digit here is not 9. The double digit is 7. So the values are 14, 9, and 3. Any of those can sit next to each other. That's annoying. Oh, this can't be a 9 by Sudoku. 14, 9, and 3. The double digit here is a 7. So that's in one of these two cells, because this can't be a doubler because it sees that one. So this is a natural 9. <coughs> These are 3 and 7, and the 7 is the doubler. I mean, if that's a 3, it can't sit next to 2. But I don't know which way round they fall. Now, this is a 268 triple. On the line, that can't be a 2. This has to be low, and it's not allowed to be a 3, so that's 1 or 2. Well, it's not allowed to be 2, because 2 is in this triple, so that is a 1, which hasn't ruled out 6 from here. Um, what about this? Is this interesting? Probably not. Especially as it can be... A, oh, well, it can only be a doubled four if that was a doubler. We've only got two and four to find in these two places. So it could be a doubled four, and that would be low. Otherwise, it is six, eight, or nine. Oh, this puzzle. It's just madness. I just don't know how that 3-7 work themselves out. That's so annoying. That can still be a 1. One of these two is a 1. That is 4 or 1. No, it's got a 1 in the row. That's a 4. That's an 8. Oh, that's huge. That's a 2. That's an 8. That's exactly what I know it is not what I needed. That doesn't sort this pair out. That is the opposite of what I needed. But I get 3 and 2 here. 2 can't sit next to 6, at least. Because 6 wouldn't be a doubler. Now, these are a 1, 3, 5 triple, including a doubled 1. These are a 6, 7, 8 triple, and that's not a 7. Oh, this isn't a 4 by Sudoku now. So this is 8 or 9, and not a doubler. Because they have been doubled somewhere else in the puzzle already. Oh... I've just forgotten this already. Sorry, the doubled seven there means that's a doubled eight. Okay, I'm going back to red for those because it doesn't matter they're a triumvirate anymore. That eight is looking across at a six there. It's a 16 value. That can't be an eight just by Sudoku, but it can be seven or six. However, neither of seven or six can sit next to three. So that's a one. Um, this one isn't, and therefore is not a doubler, because the doubler here is a 1. Uh, we need a doubled 4, and it's not going to be in that box. So this box is going to have a doubled 2. Here we go. So that's a 1, that's a 2. This box is going to have a doubled 4 in one of those two positions. Therefore, these are green. Doubled four, doubled one. We now know where it is. It's there. Red there. Red there. These are all green. This is the doubled one. 
that's the double two. Come on, this is working now. This is, oh, I don't know, I was going to say a six, nine pair. There's a three in one of those. Why is that not interesting? Five, six, three, two. I just need to do some good Sudoku here. That can be six or seven. That can be eight or nine. The whisper stuff. The whisper stuff is basically done. However else, oh no, this line isn't. But however else the other lines unfold, it's done. Now, this has to be low. And it can't be two or three. So it's one or four. And this is high. And it can't be eight. So it's, oh, it can't be seven either. That is six or nine. Can't be nine on the white dot. Good grief, it's six. That puts a one on the whisper. That sorts out the bottom whisper. This is five or seven, but there's a five in the box, so that's seven. And now everything has become impossible. Ah! Okay, I've gone wrong somewhere, and that's very, very upsetting. I don't even know how far to wind back. It was looking so good. Maybe I was making wrong... I mean, they're not doublers, though, so they do obey the rules. That is a one or a four, and this is high and can't be seven or eight. And it can't be nine on the dot. Oh, I don't understand what's happened now. I don't believe it. How far back did this go wrong? When I put that eight there, it seems like it's under intolerable pressure straight away. Because you can't put eight there or eight there. And yet that had to be a doubled eight, didn't it? Because we... Okay, I'm going all the way back to when we put in doubled nine in the bottom left. I mean, it's right. Okay, let's go all the way back to this one, three, seven, nine line on the left here. Okay, so I thought that this couldn't be a seven because it can't have one and two there. That's right. And it can't be a three. And now it can't be a nine. So it's got to be a one. That's a 379 triple below it. And this can't be a genuine three now. <sighs> what on earth have I done wrong here? That's a 5-7 pair. Now, I said that's a four because this is a 2 four, eight pair. That's right. Then I said this is a nine, and this is where it started giving me problems. Then the doubler here has to be a seven, and the doubler here is an eight, and that's where I run into these insuperable problems. So what happened after this? That couldn't be a seven, because the doubler's a seven, and it couldn't be a three, so it's a nine. Got two, six, eight there. So that gave me a 1 here, because I've only got 1, 4, and 5 to put in. Yes. Now, what happened here? Is there any chance of that being wrong? I decided that this was a 4. And how did I decide that? That's interesting. I feel there was a reason. Why couldn't that be one, two? How did I decide that was a four? That's the one I put in. 
Oh, because it's sitting next... I think I looked at that being two or eight and said that has to sit next to four. And that's inaccurate. And I don't know why I would have said that. Okay, this might be where I went wrong. So let's carry on from here and see if I can fix the problem. We've got a double seven there, so that is an eight. And I mean, now we get nine here, eight here, if I just spotted this. Eight can't be there, eight must be here. This is nine now. Okay, that works for the line. This has become a two, and that, now that can still be one or four, but this is eight. This is two, and this can't be genuine three anymore. This has to be doubled seven straight away. Okay, so let's make those oranges into reds. This one is now green and is a genuine three. This might work, and I, will, I won't feel dreadful, because this puzzle's hard. And if you don't accept that sometimes your brain can just begin to seize up, then I'm sorry, you haven't done much difficult Sudoku before. One, two, or four there. Now look, I've got a one, two, triple. That is a four. That's seven. I mean, I hope this is right. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. That's a five. That's a four. That's a six. Now again, there is a doubler here, it is a double two, so that's a one, that's two, that's one. That's two, three, five, that's not allowed to be two, so that is not the doubler. Um, that is not eight, it is six or seven, and that has to be one. That conclusion is still valid. This is not one, these are not one, and therefore not the doubler, which is here. And those are green. I need red in... No, that has to be green. Okay, two reds to go. A doubled two here and a doubled four here. I know where the doubled four goes by Sudoku. So that's the doubled two. These others are green. And that one's three or five. Right, we've got all the doublers placed. I like it. This is actually working again. These are a three-eight pair. This can't be a four. Ooh, this can't be high. It can't be an eight on the, on the whisper from there. So that is a three. That's gonna sort out a lot of stuff. We've got a one, two done there. This is three, six, seven. This is three, six, seven. That is three or six. That is three, six, seven. Five and four. That's a four, that's a five. Hooey. I mean, what a puzzle. That is now a six. That's eight, that's two. That's not six. That's not eight. That's not seven, that's not six. Come on, it's just Sudoku now. Seven, eight, five, one, four, two. That is a naked three. And that's gonna finish the puzzle. That's three in the spotlight, at least, if not in an actual corner. Look at that, nine there. Two, seven, five here are in five, two, seven order. Six and eight here, and before I put in the last digit, I'm just gonna check that these lines will work. Four, nine, three, 12, seven. One, eight, two, nine, four, nine, yes. Let's start from this two. Two, seven, two, nine, one, Six, sixteen, seven, one, nine, two, eight, three, ten, four, nine, two, seven, one, six, eighteen, three, nine, one, six, one, nine, three, fourteen, two, eighteen. They do all work, these mutant German whisper lines. And I'm loving angels instead. There we go. Oh, puzzle doesn't include solution, but I think that is right. And we'll enshrine that solution into the software for you to have solved this. And I really hope there's no mistakes. I don't think there is. I mean, the, the software was happy enough with the Sudoku elements. I have counted all of the German whisper elements. Let's just check the crop key dots. The white ones are fine. The black ones are fine. That is it. What an extraordinary puzzle. Thank you.
Demono for the recommendation and Good City, very well done. But it played with my head a bit and in the end I lost control in this cell and spun out of control and had to fight back to find where I lost control and restart from that point. Oh, that was fun, but I'm exhausted now. I'm going for a good old lie down. Thank you for watching um, and sweating through it with me. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.